Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we have a lot to discuss because we're going to analyze the Bitcoin price. What are the expectations for this weekend? And we also going to have a look into the Ethereum price quickly. So make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe to this channel and watch the video till the end, my friends. All right, so let's start right now in the four hour time frame because Bitcoin is still in this potential ascending broadening wedge that we also covered in yesterday's update video. So if you didn't watch that video, make sure that you click in the video that is popping up in the end of this video because it is a very important update video on the expectations of this potential local top that we could maybe have here in the not so distant future. So Bitcoin currently is bound bouncing exactly here at the bottom of the wedge currently at around 39,160. So what I'm expecting here in the four hour is that we most likely going to have a push here towards $42,000, the current all time high, and then potentially go here towards our target of around $47,000. So $47,000 is a very important price level that we have to keep a very close eye on and see what will happen there because this is a potential local top before a bigger correction so I think during this weekend we could see here this possible test and pump towards $47,000 and there we're gonna see if Bitcoin is able to go higher and create a support above this price level or if we're gonna start a bigger correction it is possible that this could be a potential local top then we're gonna correct and afterwards we're gonna start again a parabolic move away above $47,000 and why I think that $47,000 47,000 is a potential top is not only because of the Fibonacci extensions but also because of the stock to flow price model we're gonna have a look also into that pretty soon but now let's first have a look also into the Bollinger Bands in the four hour because as you can see here we're still trading on the upper area so the trend is still to the upside here in the four hour and we should expect here a bounce at least towards $42,600 that is currently the top here of the Bollinger Bands we also have stochastic right now in oversold condition so it is very likely that here we could get soon a bullish cross and this could fire up the price again to the upside the only bearish thing right now is that we have MACD and KSD with a bearish cross so that of course is a bit dangerous because in that case we also could get rejected here and then we could start here a massive fall at least towards $38,500 and if we cannot hold that price level we most likely gonna go again towards $35,000 because if we're starting to go lower than the 9 or 20 moving average currently here between $38,500 and $40,000 and also start to close four hour candles below then this ascending broadening wedge is playing out because usually that is a bearish pattern and we're gonna see here the breakout to the downside which will take us at least towards $35,000 the previous strong resistance which now should be acting as a new support and if this one will not hold then we could be falling even lower towards $32,000 or maybe even towards $30,000 thousand before we bottom out somewhere so this is the bearish scenario if we're gonna fall here below the support and also start to close four hour candles below this blue trend line here so so far we are closing the candles above the support and that of course is bullish and we should expect here this potential push here towards 47,000 very very soon maybe if not today tomorrow and now we go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that we are still closing daily candles way above the 9 daily moving average. This is what we want to see during this run up. And as long as we're not closing any daily candle below the 9 day or 20 daily moving average, the trend is still clearly shifted to the upside and the trend is your friend. So you should expect your continuations to the upside, even though we could at any time have a big correction down towards the 9 daily moving average right here at $35,000 and then have a big bounce from it same like we also did here many times in the past and because we are still very overbought in the RSI in the daily I think such a correction is still in the cards it is possible that we're gonna break out here to the downside from this ascending broadening wedge but at least in the lower time frames it looks like right now that we're gonna see here a potential push towards $47,000 and this is where we're gonna see what will happen because that move is going to be very important if we're seeing $47,000 dollar this weekend. 
And since we're now in the daily time frame, let's go also over quickly into the CME chart because here you can see the close that we had yesterday right at $39,520. So wherever the price is going during the weekend, we're then going to have a new CME gap if we are not retracing back to this level where we close the CMEs on Friday. So keep in mind the CME close is at $39,520. So if we would see such a push towards $47,000 and also start on Monday the CMEs at those price levels we're gonna see a new big CME gap below of us and of course that could be also a bearish sign that we most likely will fall down then to fill that gap. So we have to keep a very close eye what will happen this weekend because $47,000 is in the cards my friends. Let's see if we can reach that level. I'm pretty confident that we will see a big move this weekend so make sure that your eyes are glued on the chart and if we have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the daily you can see that currently we're trading right at the top so also correction down towards these two moving averages here between 35,000 to 30k wouldn't change anything on the trend of Bitcoin we would still remain here shifted to the upside only a close below 30k I think could lead into a massive drop at least towards 20k to test the old all-time high this is also the bottom currently of the Bollinger Band so that is still not out of the cards so make sure that you're ready to DCA into Bitcoin if we're gonna see a massive fall here and of course to open up all those nice longs over on Bybit, Femex or any other trading platform because Bitcoin for the long term will go way way higher. We have covered that also in yesterday's video so that's why it's very important that you watch the update video that I did yesterday and of course in the daily also all indicators are still shifted to the upside which is bullish but here as soon as we're gonna get some bearish crosses especially in the stochastic I think this could lead lead into a massive uh, drop here towards these two important moving averages and there of course we're gonna see if we're able to bounce from it or if we're gonna see maybe a little sell-off towards a 20 but at the time of recording everything is still pointing out that Bitcoin will go higher at least towards 47,000 potentially even towards 63,000 dollars so let's wait and see what will happen during this weekend my friends we know now already the bullish targets here 47 or 63 thousand dollar if we're gonna see continuation to the upside and keep in mind that the nine weekly moving average current is right here at 24 thousand dollar and we have also the 20 weekly right at 18 thousand dollars so if we're gonna see a massive sell-off for any kind of reason then those two moving averages are the important ones to watch because Bitcoin usually retraces back to those levels before it continues its bull run so we have seen this many times in the past of course so far we never had such a big correction and such a big retracement it can happen but as long as bitcoin is not having a blow off top or we are not starting to close at least daily candles below the nine daily moving average we should expect the price to go higher and higher and here in the weekly i can show you again the fibonacci extensions based on the old all-time high and the bottom that we had in 2018 if we measure here the Fibonacci retracement and have a look here into the extensions level you can see that the 2.618 is right here at 47,000 and the next step would be here the 3.618 at $63,000. If we switch this into the logarithmic chart and we also switch the Fibonacci retracement into log scale we're gonna get a 1.618 Fib line of exactly $63,000 and that's why I think it is still very likely that $47,000 is not the end that we will see continuation until $63,000 maybe have one last big push between $47,000 to $63,000 and there maybe we're gonna see this blow off top that will lead into a correction and then after we bottomed out we're gonna start the next big parabolic move towards 100 k and higher we covered also yesterday in the update video that we could maybe even reach $400,000 based on the Fibonacci extensions and that's why my friends I'm still telling you that Bitcoin is still cheap and if we're gonna get a correction a massive correction then it's worth to put every penny in it because this thing will blow off this year and you can do really life-changing money so now that we have covered Bitcoin let's have a look also into Ethereum because currently some of the altcoins are pumping pretty nicely also in comparison to Bitcoin especially band protocol chain link and of course also Ethereum and on Ethereum we have very similar charts like on Bitcoin but if we switch over into the lower time frames like the four hour here you can see that currently Ethereum could be in a potential rising wedge which of course is also a bearish pattern but as long as we are trading within 
in this wedge we should expect the price to go higher and higher towards our old all-time high here of $1,400 and there we're gonna see what will happen if we're gonna lose here the support which is currently at around $1,130 then I'm afraid that we could see a possible correction down again towards $900 and if this support will not hold then watch out here for the previous important resistance which now is new support at around $750 and this is also perfectly coinciding here with the 200 moving average in the four hour so if we're gonna see here a breakout to the downside from this bearish pattern then watch out for $900 and $750 put there some buy orders also some long orders over on Bybit and Femex because most likely Ethereum is gonna bottom out here create a bottom and then again gear up to the upside to then break finally $1,500 if here we're gonna fall below because so far Bitcoin always ignored these bearish patterns and just broke out to the upside and maybe Ethereum is also gonna start to do like that and here we're gonna just shoot straight up above $1,400 and then we have to analyze the Ethereum price from scratch scratch on because in that case we are then also like in Bitcoin in no man's land no one can tell you what will happen above $1,400 we can do some Fibonacci extensions but therefore we're just gonna wait until we're gonna break the old all-time high as long as we're trading below everything is possible and in that case if we see a correction we know now the targets but overall I'm pretty bullish also on Ethereum and most likely here we're also gonna break the old all-time high pretty soon we maybe don't gonna have the same performance like in Bitcoin because right now I'm still seeing that most of the people and most of the institutions are buying only Bitcoin they are only interested in Bitcoin so once they're going also after Ethereum then of course we could see a massive pump also here but as long as they're focused more on Bitcoin I think the show currently is on Bitcoin of course it is also good to diversify into some altcoins but make sure my friends that you keep at least 90% of your portfolio in Bitcoin whatever happens with the altcoins of course you can do some flip trading with Binance where you can flip from altcoins into Bitcoin and so on if the altcoin season is coming back so if the Bitcoin dominance is starting to drop a lot but so far we are just seeing that the Bitcoin dominance is rising and rising we sometimes have some pullbacks here but overall the trend is still going up here for the Bitcoin dominance and I'm expecting to reach 75 to 80 percent pretty soon and that of course is bad for the altcoin so you want to be sitting in Bitcoin when the dominance is going higher and higher at some point the Bitcoin dominance will fall for sure again because we are at 80% very very high and in that case we could see some huge fireworks in the altcoins and of course you can do a lot of profits in Bitcoin pair and then take all your profits into Bitcoin because like that you can also easily multiply your Bitcoins next to trading of course but I just don't think that this is going Going to happen right now I think the dominance will continue to rise up here a bit especially if maybe we're gonna see a correction then I think the dominance will rise up even more and more because if we see a bigger correction the Bitcoin price the altcoins will bleed even more and then of course it is better to cash out in dollar and wait with the cash on the sideline to re-enter into the market or at least put it into Bitcoin because usually Bitcoin always corrects less than the altcoins so if you want to flip into some altcoins I would wait for the moment this time will come but it is not now in my opinion of course you can already start to DCA right now if you think the time is right but in my opinion it's still a bit too early and keep in mind that if you want to do that then the best place to do this is of course over on Binance because there you can buy all kind of altcoins and if you still need an account over on Binance because there you don't need KYC nothing you can just register with the email use the link down below here for Binance and this is all the exchange where next to Swiss Pork and Coinbase you can buy all the cryptos with your bank account or also with your credit card so if you're completely new in the crypto space make sure to have also a Binance account because with this exchange you can do almost everything and now before we're gonna wrap this up my friends we're gonna have a look into stock to flow price model because as you can see currently we're perfectly on track with the stock to flow model this predicts a 100k Bitcoin approximately in September this 
year. I don't think that Bitcoin will stop here at 100k. I think we will go way higher. But this is at least the price model that we should refer where the price of Bitcoin should be at the moment. And normally, always when we are overshooting this price model, it is always good to take some profits because that means that Bitcoin is overvalued. And at the other hand, always good to buy once we're gonna fall again below this price model. And as you can see right now, we are right at $40,000 and this price model predicts this price level towards the end of March of this year. So currently the price level should be at around $26,000. And that's why I think this area here of around $47,000 could be a potential local top, which afterwards we're gonna crash again towards the stock to flow price model here at around twenty-eight dollars to $26,000. Maybe even have a dip a bit below and then continue to go along the price model until we're gonna reach 100K and potentially even higher prices. So that's why my friends, I think that currently we are a bit in danger here. We could see a massive correction here at $47,000, latest maybe at around $63,000. A bigger correction will come for sure. The question is only when, because also here based on the stock to flow price model, we could have a correction down to the price model and then again see this 40K area later on in March again and then continue to go higher and higher. So that's why I'm a bit afraid that we could maybe see here in this 40 $47,000 potential local top before a correction latest at $63,000 because not only those are important Fibonacci extensions where we could see a potential local top since we are very very overbought and we went up so quickly from like 10k up to 40k that sooner or later we're gonna see a sell-off but if we're not seeing a sell-off at $63,000 latest then I think we will not see a bigger correction we may be just gonna have some little pullbacks before we're gonna reach 100k and higher because $47,000 and $63,000 in my opinion are really the last opportunities for the bears to bring the price down otherwise I'm afraid that we will not see any kind of correction anymore if it's not happening at 47 or 63 thousand dollar and with those words my friends are gonna wrap it up make sure that you're ready to trade bitcoin and ethereum with leverage over on bybit and femix if you still need an account open it up for free with my referral links down below here you will get some extra money if you put a first deposit on it on bybit currently 90 dollars and on femix 80 dollars there are also some other exchanges where you can trade with leverage so try it out if you want and if you want to try out the co-vesting feature over on Prime XPT where you can copy trade other successful traders, then make sure to open up a free account also over on Prime XPT. On those exchanges, you don't need KYC, nothing, just your email, top up some Bitcoin and you're done. And if you're completely new in this trading stuff, then please join our free Discord trading chat. We have a very great crypto family over there. And also we have different threads where we can discuss altcoins, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and also the co-vesting feature over on Prime XPT and on Discord is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator live stream which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin of course for a little donation. So that's it for this video my friends. Thank you again very much for watching. Very appreciated if you can hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. I do daily TA videos. So we're gonna see us all in the next one. Bye for now.